metrô. Praça de Salto, já vai à porta. Good morning, adventurers. Well, good morning. We are in Belgium, you guys. So, yeah, surprise. <laughs> so we had- uh, Bought a her... car. No, <laughs> we didn't. I forget every <laughs> single time that she's gonna do this, all right? <laughs> One of these times it's gonna be true though. We are going true. to We're have actually closer, bought a car. Closer, maybe. But we took a flight over from Sweden over to here in Brussels, spent a day here and uh, just a day of unwinding yes. and not really doing anything because we are about to start a little European road trip. If you can't tell, by yes. the rental car, not our own car. But don't get too upset with us that we didn't do much in Sweden because we actually decided to come back. So mm -hmm. after we do this epic road trip, we will be back, Sweden. Do not worry. Yeah, we're going to be, we're planning all kinds of cool stuff yeah, up there too. I think we'll be doing some road tripping there too, so we can see a lot more. Mm -hmm. We're going to be heading about an hour east of Brussels to Deest and uh, going to see some cool stuff there, spend a couple days there. And then we're going to be off heading down south to a new country, Luxembourg. Yeah, a new country. Yes. Yeah, Love it. Cool. We're also going to dip our toes into France to stay Just at a very, a little bit. very special, very cool place. So mm -hmm. make sure you stay tuned for that video. It's going to be really neat. We're actually in a park garage right now so that's why it <laughs> looks like it's the middle of the night but uh we're gonna head on out of here and start our uh belgian road trip we've gotten a lot of comments people asking why allison is the one usually doing the driving well it's actually very simple there's two reasons he makes me i hate it that is actually the 100% opposite of the truth. I love driving. Eric hates <laughs> driving. Eric loves filming. I don't love filming. <laughs> so it's just a happy relationship when I get to drive and he gets to sit over there and yeah. not drive. <laughs> and in some countries, you have to pay extra to have another person drive. It's I, not always that way in the US. No, but in a lot of countries and for this rental as well, it was an extra like 100 USD. Sometimes it doubles your rental cost to have a secondary driver. Yeah. Sometimes they're nice and let spouses drive and then Eric does drive, but a lot of the times you only get one. So now you know. We have made it to Deest. We have done it. I survived. <laughs> We've done it. <laughs> it was actually only an hour away, but Allison killed it. Maybe not even driving. an hour. It was so easy. It was great. Yeah. But we've checked into our little hotel that's right in the center square, the Groot Market area, I think it's called. Mm -hmm. And the hotel, how do you pronounce it? BNB De Moot. De Moot? Sure. We're going to go with that. It's so interesting because in Brussels, they speak um, French, but up here, they speak Dutch. Yeah. We don't know much Dutch, so I apologize for all of the mispronunciations that are about to happen. They're but going we're going to try our best. A lot of them. But check this place out. So it's at the top floor of this charming little house. There's a bar down below, mm -hmm. but we have this open A-frame area with these old wood beams and the bed, the, this old green couch. And then it's all open to the restroom back there. But it's so pretty and so charming. And we are literally right in the middle of town on top of a brewery. I don't think it can get any better. Speaking of being on top of a pub, they have a little uh, mural of a, I think he's brewing some beer in there. And I guess this is meant to be the town. The bathroom is connected to the main room and it's got a really cool old school medieval type of vibe. I love all this little bitty green tiles that are all on the backsplash and on the wall over here. But you have to watch out for this beam because I've almost smashed my head on this multiple times and there's no doubt that I'm going to succeed in smashing my head on it at least once. You might actually be tall enough to hit your head on it too. Me? Yep. You're just gonna sting oh. your head. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely, oh yeah. It's definitely, it's five foot, four inches. Dude, that's gonna hurt bad if you just get caught right oh, there. No. <laughs> I hope I do not. Got all checked into our place. We actually met up with the owner and he uh, took us around the town a little bit. And uh, this town is gorgeous. Oh my God. Super it's charming. so pretty. And now, we are headed to a, an airplane fly-in festival? Yeah, so from what I understand, it should be a bunch of old airplanes that they're bringing in. I think there might be old cars there yeah, too. I think it's everything, yeah. But that's one of the things the town is known for is for the airfield that's right next to it. But that's where we're gonna head right now. We 
we found our dream car. This is an 83 Land Cruiser, and it is absolutely beautiful. Y'all, we are currently obsessed with Land Cruisers. Sadly, I don't think we'll ever be able to afford one, No. but oh, they're just so pretty. Yeah, wow, this thing is just oh, so it's, sharp. It's just this is majestic. the best Land Cruiser I've ever seen. That color is amazing. Yeah. Sadly, these old ones like this are very expensive, so we won't be getting those anytime soon. Oh, we'll man. just admire it from afar. Yeah. We are on the airfield right now. There are a ton of old school classic cars Mostly European. And they're very <laughs> tiny, I yeah. love it. But they're not all European. They have a sweet Mustang over there. There was a DeLorean floating around here somewhere. Yeah, they've got some old like Jeep Wranglers and stuff. Yeah. They've got a nice mix of everything. And we're not really car buffs, but even we are getting excited about some of the cars here. Like I've never seen a red DeLorean. I've only seen like the Back to the Future gray one. Yes. And that Land Cruiser was amazing. Oh my I mean, God. you can't beat an old Mustang. Mm -mm. Also, tons of tiny little quirky British cars. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta those, love those. Those might be my favorite. Oh, I would love to drive around in one of those for a day. <laughs> It'd be very fitting for you. <laughs> <laughs> We've arrived at the fly-in. The weather took a little turn, but we're making yeah, the best sadly. of it. We've met up with Ludo, who we actually just found out wrote a book about the history yes. of this airfield. I think the most important thing is what is a fly-in? A fly-in is uh, the airplanes can come and go as they wish. Nothing is organized and they come and go as they wish. How did this one become involved with the old planes and the old cars? That was invented uh, 50 years ago. It was a, a, a very small uh, reuni reunion mm -hmm. of uh, owners of older airplanes. And an older airplane is an airplane older than 20 years. They had a beer and they uh, ate some sandwiches. And that was all. It literally fly in. Fly in. Yeah. Fly in sandwiches, yeah. Yeah. fly out. During the German occupation, during the First World War, okay. they built here mm -hmm. an airfield. It was in, in fact a school. A Flieger Beobachter Schule. Okay. Uh, uh, for, um, how do you say that in English? A Flieger Beobachter Schule. That's it, perfect. That's exactly. It. <laughs> the Germans trained their personnel here. During six months they were here. Gotcha. There were a lot of casualties. I counted uh, more than, than 20 uh, fatal casualties. Really? Yeah. This was not, it was not safe. It was due to the material they used, I the see. airplane they used, ah. and the, the exercises they did. It was m much smaller than you see now, because now it's a dropping zone. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, now the airfield is uh, owned by the army, and uh, the uh, parachutists, uh, the, they use it. Yeah, we yes, heard Over this. there, okay. you see the balloon. Yes. Uh, as they call it in Dutch, at Varken, the peak. Yeah. Huh? You're it's not going to give a, it a try to try a, to say it? A varken? A varken? A varken, yes. yes, yes okay. no, no. It's a cable balloon. Okay. okay. Uh, the, during the First World War, they used cable balloons to, to, to do observations of the front on the side of the Allies, on the side of the, the Germans, and they constantly obser observated uh, one, one another. Yeah. Uh, and they shot also one another. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> using those they balloons. They weren't fun uh, balloons. Uh, no, back no, no, then. they weren't no. fun okay. balloons. <laughs> I saw you can do skydiving here. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Okay, we won't be today. doing that this no, time no. around, especially not in this weather. <laughs> thank you so much for chatting with us. This yeah, is lovely. Thank you. Yeah. We're going to go explore a bit. Yeah, we're going to check it out. Now, I think we're going to take a proper tour. They have these uh, trucks that are driving around that yeah, I think we're going to shove into. These trucks that yeah. gonna, we're going to climb in. They're going to take us around the entire airfield. Yes, left foot, right foot. Right. Nice job. Oh, man, my pants are too tight for this. <laughs> that side is full. Yeah. I don't think I did that right, but no, it's alright. <laughs> they're making fun of you now. It's a bit of a bumpy ride. <laughs> We did a little tour of the airfield. Our guide, Albert, was very knowledgeable about the airfield. We learned pretty much everything there is to know about it. There has been so much history here. It was actually, in World War II, it was under German occupation, and he told us all kinds of stories about that, and uh, the liberation of the airfield, and all kinds of stuff. Needless to say, we worked up a bit of an appetite, and check this out, you guys. They have friggin' barbecue here. So they had a bunch of meats grilling back there. They have a buffet up there with all these different vegetables, really fresh looking stuff too. 
So that tour we just did, you can actually come and do it on your own. I think weekdays, typically they do it because I think some stuff's closed on the weekend. But you should look into it because it was really neat and you get to see such an interesting piece of history. Yeah, and I think with better weather, you get a nice view from up there you of do. the surrounding area. Oh yeah, because we, go, we went to the highest point in the region, which isn't that high, but you get a nice view around. We are back in Deest in the town center called Grote Market. I'm still not sure if I'm saying that right. But if you're not familiar with the geography of Belgium, it's actually divided into three different regions. We are in the region of Flanders, but each one of those regions is divided into different provinces. We are in the province of Flemish Brabant. Hopefully I'm saying that right. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> We're gonna go with that. <laughs> but if you look at the map, it's really interesting because Brussels is cut out into its own region. The region around it, they actually speak Dutch, but in Brussels, they speak French. But like I said, we are back in the town square. As you can see, this place is completely stunning. There are people out and about, restaurants all over the place. It's lined with all these amazing old buildings. And of course, you have this epic church over here, which I don't quite know the name of yet, but I will learn it. <laughs> also, on this spot tomorrow, they're going to have a whole beer market, and that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow. <laughs> Wait. Us at a beer market? That, that doesn't, doesn't sound, sound right. Yeah, that, that's definitely not us. <laughs> Since we're going to be drinking so much beer tomorrow, we're actually going to head to a wine bar over there that's right next door to the hotel we're staying in. So we have come next door. There's actually a wine bar. Wine bar Violet or Wien Bar Violet, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I wonder if that's wien why bar violet. there's a violet light above oh, us. Yeah, probably. <laughs> we ordered this Agalans. Chardonnay, which is actually the wine growing region right around here. It's about, he said our service is about 10 minutes from the area. So very local wine because we are going to be drinking lots of local beer tomorrow. And so we we'll save the beer for tomorrow. Stick with the wines tonight, nice and light. Drink in with some little chips. Oh yeah, good waiting in, in, in the day. Nothing to see here, definitely. We didn't lie to you earlier and went and got some beers after our wine. We did. Oops, Mine's dating. over there. We did. <laughs> what? And no, we didn't get any waffles because we're in Belgium. Belgian waffles? Uh, Actually, you guys may laugh, but they're prepackaged waffles that you just get in the convenience store. They're bomb. Oh my God. We found a pack. There's 10 in a pack or something crazy like that. So this has been our bedtime snack. We're just every taking one a night. <laughs> one a night. I hope you guys enjoyed exploring the airfield with us today. It was a very unique experience for us, seeing all the old planes and old cars, and just yeah. interacting with people who are very passionate about the airfield and its history, and being you know paratroopers and pilots, and they were all so into that culture, yeah, a culture that we have know nothing about before today. We really enjoyed it. We hope you guys did too. And like we said earlier, you can come and do the tour here anytime you want, so you can learn everything. They went into so much detail about the airfield, and they drove you all through the property. It was really cool. You can see all of this history still living on today. Tomorrow we're going to be exploring the town of Deest quite a bit more. Yes. Uh, they have amazing museums and old buildings, but also the beer market that we are so excited to go to. It's yes. going to be amazing. We're going to learn all about all kinds of different Belgian beers and most importantly, taste a bunch of Belgian beers. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>